Let's take a look at how we can use Instant 3D inside an assembly. Instant 3D is an option that we can switch on or off, so let's just enable it firstly. The Instant 3D icon is on the Assembly tab. In order to use Instant 3D, if you want to make any modifications to a part, you need to be editing that part in context. This particular assembly is actually built on a layout sketch inside a part. So we're going to edit this first part by using the edit part icon and just highlight the sketch. With the sketch highlighted we can actually drag the dimensions of that sketch and notice that all the components within the assembly automatically update without me having to do a rebuild. Let's come out of the edit component and have a look at a few other ways that we can use Instant 3D. Instant 3D can be used on anything which has got a dimension associated to it. If we take a look in our mates folder at the bottom of our assembly tree We've got two distance mates in there. Now distance mates obviously have a dimension associated to them, so we can drag those dimensions using Instant 3D. We'll just take the second distance mate and drag that also, remembering that at any point in time if you want to put a specific value in, it's just a single click into that dimension, type the value in that you require and it'll automatically update without a rebuild.